for the second time in recent weeks, the St. Louis area high school is accused of breaking the rules. Good evening. I'm Courtney Bryant. I'm Steve Savard. The Ferguson Florissant School District is investigating an ineligible McClure North High School football player playing in several games. News 4's Emily Pritchard is in Florissant tonight explaining what's next. Emily. Steve Courtney, as of right now, McClure North's playoff game against Parkway West this Friday is still on. Parkway West has agreed to host that game, which is a change after this news came to light. The spokesperson for the Ferguson Florissant School District tells me that they discovered an ineligible football player played in several games this season for McClure North. The district says it self-reported that incident to the Missouri State High School Activities Association, or MISHA. The district says it discovered this through an internal review of their eligibility roster. Tonight we know the athletic director for McClure North is on leave and the stars are set to play Parkway West on Friday. As a result of that, we uh, self-reported to Misha um, that ineligible player. Um, and so we're working uh, with Misha at this time. We uh, have offered uh, the opportunity to our opponent for uh, this coming weekend's game for them to be the uh, have the home field advantage. And so uh, I think that they're probably going to accept that uh, that offer. And again, Parkway West has agreed to that tonight. Now, if you do look at the state handbook, the minimum penalty for using an ineligible player is that you must forfeit the games an ineligible player actually played in. You could also be forced to give up some conference standing and lose your place in a tournament. Now, we did confirm tonight that Misha is investigating this incident. And again, that game for Friday, which is a playoff game between McClure North and Parkway West, is still set as of right now. Courtney, back to you. All right, Emily Pritchard reporting live for us tonight. Thank you. You may also remember the fallout for another local high school after the discovery of an ineligible player taking the field. Cardinal Ritter College Prep caught national attention just over two weeks ago. The football program was accused of switching the jersey of a player who was supposed to sit out. As a result, the entire coaching staff was fired. The team forfeited its wins and the season ended early for the players. Only on four